Say this for us Indians, we can turn anything into a political, religious, social controversy. Let's take World Yoga Day. That should be a good thing, right? Yoga is India's great contribution to world civilization. But no, it's mired in controversy. First of all, should observing World Yoga Day be compulsory? Compulsory for school children, for government servants? Well, of course not. You can't make Mother's Day compulsory. Your wife may have a right to tell you that your wedding anniversary should be observed, but not some mother-in-law of a government. So it's crazy to force these things down people's throat. And then there's the second completely unnecessary religious controversy. Many Muslim leaders are saying Muslims will not observe World Yoga Day. Well, why not? Because apparently yoga makes you bow and they won't bow to anyone except their God. Well, first of all, yoga doesn't make you bow to any Hindu God. So that's a non-starter. Secondly, Muslims bow all the time. You go to any Muslim country, they bow before a Sultan, before an emperor. Nobody thinks that these people are almighty God. It's just a normal curtsy. So why this nonsensical controversy? Well, because India's Muslim leaders like keeping their people insecure. They like throwing up these idiotic controversies and they think it makes them stronger. It doesn't. I don't think India's Muslims actually believe them. But what it does is something very different. It serves as a recruitment poster for the RSS. And these guys are the best advertisement for Hindu communalism. Did you like the video? Well, if you did, post a like. It's easy enough to do. And if you have comments, suggestions, complaints even, send them to us. But whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe to Going Viral.